Raise your hand if you have a cell phone. <laughs> Isn't it iPhone? Raise your hand if you have iPhone. There you go. Isn't it a cool device in your hand? You got the whole world in your hand. My son, seven months old, he thinks it's really cool to have one. <laughs> technology is an integral part of our life today. We cannot imagine a life without technology. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. United States is the most powerful country on this planet. Do you know why? We are number one in science and technology. That's why. What is science? Science is simply, it refers to the study of the nature. Why we should study the nature? It's simply because of this reason. If we were to hit by a tornado or a tsunami, you want to know about it early and advance. That's why we need to know and study about the nature. What is technology? Technology is simply the application of science for human need. Cell phone is a technology. Television is a technology. Computer is a technology. Today, we are totally immersed in technology. Thank you. What technology can do to you? Anybody? What is, why do we need technology? Go ahead. To keep up with what's going on in the world. Very good. Anyone else? Technology. Makes sense. Yes. It gives me a sense of security. Technology gives you a sense of security. Yes. It's a mm. cell phone. I thought a lot of people think it's yeah. the security. Technology, when you go online, uh -huh. do shopping, people feel it's insecure in some degree. OK, anyways, <laughs> we, have, we need technology because technology makes our job easy. If you want to shop, you can sit in the home and just order everything through Amazon.com. You can pay your bills easy. Everything you do in life, right from heating the food in the microwave and all the way to the printing newspapers. You can do everything through technology. Technology entertains you, music, television have more than 300 channels. What else? Playstations. Technology is a very good entertainer. What else technology can do, do to us? Advancements in medical technology. 500 years ago, Childbirth was supposed to be a very complicated process and risky. Today, it's a very easy process, childbirth. Anyone know what is the life expectancy of a human in the United States? What is the life expectancy? 85. Correct. Close to 80 years. 200 years ago, it's not even 35 years. Most of us start our life in 35. Isn't it an amazing thing what technology did to us? Does this mean technology is all the way good? No. Technology has a dark side to it. Technology created extreme dependency. For example, if internet shuts down for, a, for probably just for a week, Industry and business are going to be impacted in a huge way. Technology created this barrier between humans. I'll share you an interesting story. Last week, I visited my friend. He was ha having this little device on busy texting. I was asking him, are you responding to your boss on some critical issue? He said, no. I'm talking to my daughter. Then I asked him, where is she? She's in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Technology also made people lazy. People want to stay home, play their video game, or go on the Facebook, get connected with people. 
they are not interested to go out and introduce to the neighbor. People are not interested to go watch a basketball game. People are not interested to take a friend to a coffee shop and have a nice chat. Technology definitely created a barrier between people. How about the environmental impact through, by technology? When I came to this country 10 years ago, I had only two electronic devices in my home. One is the television, other one is the phone. 10 years later, close to 20 devices, all connected to the walls 24 by 7. Mm -hmm. I walk into a hospital, they have this huge 60 inch television, not just one, but 10, all displaying this message, your hospital is going green. <laughs> <laughs> what hospital to do with such a huge television? We are talking about global warming, but technology demands high in energy every day. How are we going to achieve this? This is a conflicting priority, isn't it? OK, what impact we have on the society? Kids, do you know the age group between 4 to 16, how many hours a day they spend on the electronic gadgets? Close to eight hours. They watch video games, which allow them to use fake guns. Children, before they finish their elementary school, they witness at least 8,000 murders. This is not just mere statistics. This number have a direct correlation with obesity, loss of interest in family, poor grades in school. Dear friends, I have a very important question to ask you. Are we really paying interest to our lifestyle? In the past 20 years, in the United States, the social engagement, the civic participation is keep on declining. Citizens, <laughs> citizens go to vote less. Citizens go to church less. There needs to be a shift. We need to keep technology where it is. Right now, we have a technology here. But we know where this is just assisting us. This is not a replacement for people. So that's why we are here in Toastmaster Club. Let's make more friends. Let's make more fun, Mr. Toastmaster.